guys, and welcome back to the Duffy's Garage YouTube channel. If you're new here, this is kind of the stuff we play with. Barrows, all sorts of stuff. If you're interested, like the video, subscribe to our channel. We've got a Barra Valiant wagon that we're doing. We have a Barra Patrol. We have RB Skyline, uh, Ram 2500 with Cummins in it. We have Jeep with a 6.4 Hemi in it. We have another Valiant with a 318 V8 in it. We have a few different cars we play with, as well as other customer cars as well. So, if you're new here and you like any of that, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. All right, so we get down to the nitty gritty of it. We're starting with a Barra. This thing's been built reasonably well. It is a stock gas bottom end, pistons and rods, but it has Kelford 218B cams in it. Atomic gear, timing chain, all bits and pieces. Our previous video on this actually goes through everything that's in this motor. We've got a six boost manifold. We've got a PSR G40 1150 turbo, custom alley intake. Um, basically FG rock cover, FG head, lots of other bits and pieces. It is essentially an FG motor. It's a BF gas motor, bottom end, FG everything else. Eventually we will do an FG turbo built bottom end for this once we start reaching the power levels of this which won't take very long. Moving on right here behind us we have an Adamat adapter straight on the front of our uh, 8HP. It is a 8HP 45. Most people disregard these. It's going to be built can be handle 1500 horsepower, 1200 newton meters, which is like a lot. I don't think we're going to damage it. I hope we don't anyway. Um, that's going to be all coupled up with turbo Lamic ECU and wiring loom. That'll all be coupled together with the car, which will be running a Nexus R5 Haltech VCU. Uh, mounting the motor in the car, we've got a set of tough mounts. Tough mounts actually do a set of engine mounts to fit the barra into a Valiant. Now, it is to suit a BTR. That is not a BTR. So we have got a BTR trans mount, which will look, well, it actually looks like it might go close to fitting reasonably well with a smart, slight modification to the actual trans mount itself. All right, so obviously, like I was saying before, BF gas motor, FG, everything else it has custom alloy welding intake manifold and fuel rail. It has all their titanium studs or stud kits for intake and exhaust manifolds. Six boost manifold, nice PSR or Pulsar G40 1150. All the rock covers are all powder coated. Ross Racing, uh, Ross Performance, sorry, Gold Series Balancer and the FG Turbo Sump to acquire it. Now, that motor is already done. There is another video previously that we done while we buttoned it up, which explained everything that we put into it. Next is the 8HP. So it is an 8HP 45 out of BMW. He's made it up with an Adamat uh, adapter, basically, to billet piece that's been machined. That's also the, move this top now on the road, see it there, made in Poland. So that's the Adamat, that's actually the flex plate, if you want to call it that, that's the adapter. So the torque converter will fit and work. Now this is, this box is just a case at the moment. I have to make the, the car fit the box, the box fit the car. I'm going to trim a couple of these nubs off the clearancing issues into the tunnel and then maybe even a few other bits and pieces. We'll see what we have to, what, what we can, what we can get away without losing. Okay, so I'm going to make a start getting this ready to go on the K-frame to go into the car. Uh, basically starting, these are all the OE bolts, I've sandblasted them, painted the head black. Got some washers to go behind them, painted them black. These are the tough mounts and they will screw straight onto the side of the block in location of the factory position. So I'm gonna pull the exhaust manifold off, I think. 
or at least the turbo, to place it into the car onto the K-frame, get it positioned correctly before we then start piecing all the other stuff on and getting the gearbox hung and so forth. So we'll make a start on that. We'll make a start. Obviously, these things, valve for BA Falcon motor, P's for passenger. Passenger side of the vehicle in Australia is the left hand side. So I don't know how these would go with a normal Z9 oil filter. They must only just clear the Valvoline smaller filter on it currently and it's like quite tight. Oh. You know reverso. a little bit. Can't leave them just snug a little bit like that. The fourth one I forgot. I might have to get a little extension as well. Nip these up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. Z9 will clear that. It's much bigger, so. Anyway, we'll move on to the next side. Alright, so moving on to the other side. It's going to take the exhaust manifold off completely. The factory pickup points for the um, when you're trying to pick it up with an engine crane they come off the exhaust manifold itself I'm just not going to bother running them not going to bother running the uh, Manifold on it, I mean, while we're putting it on. I'm just going to put this straight on, like so. And I'm actually, if we can, I've got a couple of these I'm going to put there as well. So it's got a couple of pickup points. So when we actually pick it up, it'll allow us to not pivot it diagonally, it'll allow us to just pick it up straight, make it a lot nicer. Second one of these on. Now again, this is the titanium stud kit. So we're using some custom alloy welding. They are quite nice. Bit of kit. Now that's obviously going to hold that from falling off. Move over the other side. Just turn this around. Move this dipstick out of the road. This one goes on here. And I think we can, yes, we can. I thought I'd done that before. I'll go and find another one of these and we can pick up from both the front and the rear to make it nice. Okay, so I'm going to put one of these here, one of these here. Again, pretty much opposite 
It's going to make it really nice and easy to lift this in, position it, which is exactly what we want. Last thing you want to do while you're trying to position a motor is trying to have it blocked up, like really struggling to try and make it actually want to uh, be where it wants to be, basically. You want to make it so it's as nice and easy as it can be, sitting where it wants to sit, rather than fighting you. Otherwise you tend to stuff something up. These are the same size as the other side. Yes, they are not. Alright, so I'm just going to snug these up a little bit. Not going to be perfect because... Moving close, man. That one's a little bit loose. That's all right. Just there to hold. All right, so we're just gonna put this other mount together. I've got the bolts and the washers. Now again. Val, BA, motor, the driver's side, which is the right hand side of the motor, exhaust manifold side. Piece these in, do them up, and then we're nearly ready to bolt this actual engine into the car. Again, just snug. That's pretty much ready. We can get it, get it ready to go on the K-frame in the car now. Alrighty, so where are we up to? Uh, bolting the K-frame in, so this is a Hemi 6 cross member. The tough mounts require a Hemi 6 cross member, so I have changed it out. And now I'm thinking about it, this is actually a V8 cross member. Well that puts a halt in everything. Yeah it does. So you pulled a V8 cross member out to put another V8 cross member in. Yeah, maybe I picked the wrong one. Hmm. Where is your six-cylinder one if you have it? I don't know. I'll have to have a look around. Right. Come back in take two. <laughs> Might be that one there. Uh, I'm thinking so. This is the overflow from all the other stuff. I'm sure I picked one of them was a six. Yeah, that's a six cylinder K-frame. Cool. Just looks like shit. We're just using it for mock-up. I'll find a nicer one out at the farm. As you can see that that one's a big square one. I'll go and sit it next to the other one and compare them anyway. Right, so V8 six cylinder bit narrower. Well, this one's further forward, it's a different location. Just it's just different. So that even looks different on that side. Yeah. But yeah, definitely V8 cross member versus six cylinder Hemi six cross member. So I'll throw this one up in there now. And then we're gonna tip the motor in and place it in and start fabbing everything. This one's all rusty and crappy, it was just one that I grabbed from the farm, it was out of a vehicle, so I'll have to go out and dig a nice one out of a car somewhere. Uh, that. You know that. Nice and, nice and weighted. Lucky they're light.
brought in. The good thing with these, I don't know if you'll see it, they actually got a taper. So when they, the K-frame pulls up, it pulls tight and pulls the K-frame perfectly into location. I know that like, with the skyline and With the Skylines and Sylvia's and stuff, the K-frame can move around a fair bit. There's no actual pin lock like these, which I think is a really good thing on these. Keeps them dead square and true. So, ready for that? That's the K-frame in. Now I can pull the bonnet off and sit the motor in. And move forward from there. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Stay tuned for the next one when we put the engine in the car, make the transmission fit in the tunnel, and hook it all up, see what it's going to actually look like. See you then. It's all safe.